people from um, around the world and whoever else to see this. Um, so I got these decks for the um, Sardal things. I know they were a couple months old when I made this video, so sorry. I got them, and I meant to do a video earlier, but I've been lazy about it. That's my bad. So I'm just going ahead and go ahead and crack one of them and see what we got inside. Uh, I'm going to use this one right here because it's got the most damage on it. So we'll see what we got. Crack it open. When we get proof to you that I never opened these because I'm, I'm dumb. So let's go and pull up the masterpiece. Woo! And that's it. Yeah, that's it. Box empty. If I can get you in there, yeah, cool. Yeah, that's right. So we have pretty much the beginner's guide, a little play mat, and the deck. Sweet, the deck. Now I had a bunch of these cards when these first card when this set first came out like a long time ago. That's the four pendulums. So yay. So Let's try and get this open without messing it up. Is there any a special way to open this? Let me see. Okay, cool. I finally got it open. Let me try and get this sweet plastic off. Okay, so I guess we're going to start with fusions on this deck. We have the El Shadal, where this is. This is the um, fire one. And this Billy states. Okay, this one is, but it says, it, um, must be fusion summon. Your opponent was first summon a monster. Well, you have a Shadal Monster card in your hand, quick play. So I can pretty much get to something with that card. Um, this one, El Shadal, what the hell you call it. Um, two Shadal Monsters with different attributes. Must be future summon. Cannot be destroyed by battle. Your opponent, you can use each of these effects of El Shadal once per turn. First summon, if this card is first summon, you can target one face-up monster on the field and negate its effects. If this card is sent, to the graveyard, you can add one Shadal card from your deck to, or graveyard to your hand, then discard a card. Mm, that's pretty good. Everybody should know what Construct does. Oh, here's a new Shadal card i never seen. So it's El Shadal. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that because I'm dumb. So the flip effect, like usual. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Well, we're going to read what the ability does. Cause he's a new Shadal, and anyone who probably seen this, had not seen this by now, has probably been stuck in the dark like I am. So, uh, you can special the one Shadal monster from your hand, and face up or face down defense position. If this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect, you can special one Shadal monster from your hand to the graveyard. If you do, for the rest of the turn, all monsters you control gain attack and defense equal to the original monster's Attack, you send to the graveyard, X. Oh, so it's 100 for each, le for each for its level. And you can actually affect one per turn. That's pretty good. Um, I'm going to call that one window because I don't know what I'm reading. Um, flip, you can spur summon one search all monsters from your deck and they still face down the defense position except discard. If this card is sent to the graveyard by opponent's card effect, you can spur summon one Shadal monster from your deck and face up or face down in face down defense position, except this one. And you can only use his effects once per turn. Let's see. Okay, um, another Shadal card. You can target one of your banished Shadal monsters, spur summon it face up and face up or face down defense position. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you're you can target one up, up to one, three cards in the graveyard, banish them. You can only use the effect of this Shadal once per turn. Okay, whatever. A lot of reading. Let's see what this thing is. It's Region of Shadal and Clemson. I hate when they come up with weird names for cards. Target one Shadal monster in the graveyard, special summon. 
it in face up or face down defense position, you can banish this card and add one shot dog card graveyard and activate one of these effects. You can banish one card to activate. They're going to change one of your face up monsters to you control to face down defense. You can change one face up monster you control to a face up defense position. And I can use one of these abilities once per turn and only that turn. Okay. Oh god. So they got a new window. Windows is the one that pretty much says your opponent can't special summon. You, you and your opponent can't special summon only once per turn. And I had the secret rare of that one. Okay. I shot the doll fusion. Pretty much, um, special one fusion. Shot monsters from your extra deck. Here's the monsters from your hand in the field. That's just if your opponent controls a monster that was special summoned from the extra deck, you can also use it in your deck. You can also use monsters in your deck as fusion materials. And so it's pretty much all for Shadal monsters, which is all they're probably for. Okay. Shadal Falco. I'm just rereading these now at this point because I'm, like I said, been while I had them when they first came out. I just never read them till now. So, the Shadal Falco. Target one face up. The target one face. Target one Shadal monster in your graveyard and accept Falco special summon in face down defense. If this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect. You can special summon it in face down defense position. This card can only be here. You can only use this effect once per turn. Okay. Hedgehog. You can add one Shadal spell trap from your deck to your hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard by an effect, you can add one Shadal monster from your deck to your hand, except Hedgehog. And you can actually do that once per turn. Okay. Um, if you target one face up monster, if you target, okay. You can target one face up monster on the field, destroy it. If this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect, you can send one Shadal card from your deck to the graveyard, except this one. And you can use the ability once per turn. Oh man, that's a lot of reading. Dude, what did I get myself into? Okay, does anyone know? I have a hard time reading. That's the reason I hate it so much. Um, Shadal Dragon. You can target one, you can target one card your opponent controls, then return it to the hand. If this card is sent to the, you can target one spell or trap card from your, from the field, destroy it, and you can, you can use the effect of dragon once per turn. Shadal Beast. You can draw two cards, then just discard one card. If you, if this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect, you can draw one card, and you can have the effect once per turn. Okay. Shadal Hound. You can target one Shadal card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. If this card is sent from the graveyard, sent to the graveyard by card effect, you can target one monster on the field and change this battle position. Flip monster effects are not activated at the time of this, uh, except for all monsters. You can only use this ability once per turn. Okay, that's pretty self explanatory. Um, a Shadal Pendulum Creatures, those are probably won't come out. I'm not gonna use them when read them. Um, okay, now explain this to me. Why do we have a BLS in here? So anyone doesn't know BLS can't be I was going to something that BLS can either can only be special summon from your hand by removing a light and dark monster from your graveyard. And you either attack twice or banish a monster. That's all you can do with that card. If you don't know what Lava Gum do does, you need quit life. Same thing with Dark Arm Dragon. Fairy Tale Sleeper. Okay, does this one Fairy Tale Sleep here? A furry card. Okay, see so what we got here. You can special summon one card from your hand. When your opponent aggregates a normal spell, mm, quick effect, you can treat one other monster, then aggregate the effect, becomes, train one of your opponent's monsters into three times. Oh, okay. That's not pretty bad for that. Um, a performer, pal. A dark knight, dude. Man, this is only cards. I know this card was even in this deck. Um, a turtle of some sort. Now, I know this card is somewhat good. When this card is special summon, you can send one level four or lower monster from your deck to your graveyard, and that's about it. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, draw you can draw one card. Oh man, there's a lot of crazy cards in here. Oh man, I'm reading too much and I don't have a brain cell for all this.
That's a dual links card. I don't like dual links. So we have this Karibu knockoff. A three headed dog Dane. Curse of the Shadow Priest, I guess you can call that. L Shadal Fusion. That's from Shadal Fusion. Super Polymerization. Instant Fusion. A Lower Darkness. A Foolish Burial. Foolish Living Fossil, where that does. Okay, I thought this card was banned. A Twin Twister. A Shadal Core. Sinister Shadal Game. Another Shadal. Lost Wilderness. I got a bunch of those. Oh, man. Well, this pretty much is the summed up version. Then you have the other cards that probably ain't going to be used now because the new Master Rule took effect. But overall, I think this deck is going to be good. I just got to tinker with it, make sure I understand it and everything because, um, like I said, I just, wanted, I just always wanted a Shadal deck. But when they got banned the first time around, it was never available to get them anymore. So hopefully I can do good this time. But thanks for watching. Have a great day.